What's up, YouTube? Thank you for joining Auto 3 Garage. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's go on the drive. I'm doing the POV and I'm gonna be talking about some things and update y'all. So, YouTube, welcome to Auto 3 Garage. As you can see, I'm in the Mercedes. Man, this car feels very good driving it and all. I took it to the uh, tire shop, get like a, a two tires change in the rear, but I was only able to get one because apparently they didn't have, uh, I guess, another one in stock that I needed. But it was cool. Put other tire not in bag. I just was going in for ge ge like general curiosity, or just you know, just um, prevention or whatever you want to call it. Um, let me just give y'all some footage of this car. Like this car is just so beautiful, man. Um, some nice footage of this beautiful car uh she in pieces halfway in pieces right about now um not too crazy i'm about to get some gas i don't even know what side my tank is on i wonder if it's on the other side all right do a new turn do y'all hate when that happened like y'all think y'all had the right side Y'all think y'all on the right side of the gas uh, hand, but mine don't show the. Uh... Hey, somebody about to take my spot. We'll put 93. All right, three. Better feeling. Honestly, and also about this Mercedes and stuff is so cool. Like I can like just see like all the way like back like ten times. Like I don't be straight. <laughs>
guys, I made sure I got some nice, good footage of uh, this car as you just seen. Uh, got my ABS and BSA uh, lights and all that on. Um, got a truck coming towards me. Well, I guess they're not. Just gonna let them go. <laughs> anyway, this car is just driving immaculate fine. We just got a little small issues I need to sort. So hopefully I do it by the end of the month. I already got a uh, hood release thing uh for this part right here that i mentioned in another video and like i said you gotta take this thing by mercedes just to get some codes clear and she is good hopefully but she good last videos a couple videos ago i had ended up cleaning like the wheel spe uh, speed sensors uh actuator wheel uh, ring and the sensors itself I should have went over that way. Y'all see this coolant light thing right here? Um, so I broke the old sensor on accident and I had to end up getting a new one. And you know with Mercedes and stuff, anytime you replace a part, it's not gonna clear the code. You have to do it electronically or whatever. And this car is so fun. It's like always like this car is Let's be honest. It's it's fairly got. It's got. It's it's fairly quick. Let's just be honest. If I need to get out of a sticky situation, I could. But this car is like more like a cruiser. If I really want to, you know, be all crazy and stuff, I might as well get an E55, right? I'm not gonna lie, guys. I have been looking for an E55. I have seen E430s, but they wasn't like in an ideal condition. Um. And I was looking for another like truck, like a pickup truck. I was trying to buy one, but now that might be off uh, the skates and stuff. Might just focus on where I need to um, worry about uh, now, but I'm still gonna probably keep a lookout uh, for one. I think the E55, they want like oof, seven bands for it. And I seen one that was going for uh, like 43 uh, during the time, but I wasn't looking or nothing during that time. So I'm like, damn. So when the time comes, I might end up adding like another car or whatever. Right now, I'm gonna just enjoy what I have. Whatever you're driving, man, enjoy the car. Just enjoy it. I mean, things gonna break left and right, and if you don't fix it, <laughs> like me, being all lazy sometimes and stuff, you be straight. So. I like being real and stuff about my cars on what's going on and stuff and what's the mishaps. So we gotta fix that, that latch, get that code clear, see what the ABS light and BAS or ESP lights for. If y'all know what these lights mean, y'all let me know um, down in the comments below or text me on the ground mic. Y'all usually doing stuff or any other uh, out social outlets. I was going to mention a supercharger, but if I want to do that, man, this car gonna have to be like sitting for some time. I've been studying the process and all that. I got like the manuals and stuff to follow the Kelman thing and i don't want to keep milking it like i'm gonna do it honestly i'm not going to do it right now oh, so i got a lot of stuff coming up gonna be moving forward with certain things I almost sold this car i'm not gonna lie i was thinking about selling this car but i said ain't no point you know i asked my girl some other people I mean, it's not really up to me, but someone was like, no, I would hate to sell it. And then, you know, something down the road happened, but yeah.
Tahoe, I thought, Tahoe, I thought we was going to have good. I was going to buy me a towing trailer and just uh, tow these two cars on uh, the Tahoe. So, but I'm going to be patient and stuff. I'm still going to be trying to drop videos here and there. I need to do more of the... to uh, do more of the uh, is it worth it videos because I know um, they ain't a police roll right there Folks think we have 236,000 miles, but we don't. I think we have about like, what, 150, 160, somewhere in that range. Like this car is over the 100,000 mark, but it ain't been. Cause I got it around 116,000 miles and I put about 40 something thousand or maybe 50. Um, yeah, maybe about 40 or 50, maybe. I'm not sure, uh, but somewhere in that range. And like, it's so crazy how back then the screens, like the selections and stuff they had. I think the kilometers of power is like much better than the mouse power. I don't know why, I just, you know, think it is cooler, I don't know. Yeah, this car though, I've, I rarely punch on it. I punch on it here and there, but rarely. I just mainly be cruising this bad boy here. It's a beautiful rainy day, so I can't complain. Gotten a new tire for the uh, passenger side. Cause that's the side that uh, spins. Um, I don't have no like limitless uh, slip slip did for a both of them spin only that one side spin and I burnt that other tire out I think it was ball like Caillou or something I don't know anyway I know I'm gonna edit this video eat my panda uh, I, pro I am gonna clean this car out you see I got mess I'm gonna clean these door jams oh, that's talking about door jams these holders out these I don't know door holders out whatever you want to call it vacuum this car out. it's raining and stuff so i'll probably do that like i said i gotta take care of some chores you know 
wash up some clothes. So it's gonna be pretty good. Any cosmetic things that's like uh, for the inside of this car that can make this ride more comfortable, efficient, y'all let me know what I should do. Like phone holder, um, an extra cup holder, um, like let me know something. Also, my back windows, I took my decals and stuff out, so I gotta get those sorted. And I gotta figure out why that's like peeling right now, so I gotta get that sorted. But this interior and stuff is like very clean. My seat finna start trying to get a, a hole in it. But that only happened though, cause it's a driver's seat and it's wear and tear. You're constantly moving in and out. You got oils from your clothes. That just getting that seat, hot weather, cold weather, I mean, it could contribute to a lot. I love this one wiper uh, windshield mechanism, Majig. I love it so much, man. It made me look down on the Porsche and the Tahoe. I don't know why. Cause the other one's got two, this one only got one. So it's like, uh, nah, not in a bad way though, but it's, yeah. Home sweet home, see town, baby. the new captain d's right there that used to be a hardy's but apparently um i could never stay open with the police hey i probably should get some captain d's i might get that later from hunger i've been eating out a lot because i'd be on the road half the time for work 